Bro, why are you dressed like Wonder Woman? Truth? What do you mean? What is going on guys? Will here, welcome to the video. Today we are gonna be following the diet and training of Gal Gadot, AKA Wonder Woman. She has some intense training and a diet that we can all learn from, so let's get into the video. Okay, so time for breakfast. So the first thing we are making is called shakshuka. It's an Israeli favorite, it's also one of her favorites as well. So pretty much what it is is poached eggs in a tomato kind of sauce with a bunch of veggies and Mediterranean spices. And then over here, the second component to breakfast is gonna be a green smoothie. So she usually puts in one full green apple, two stalks of celery, some parsley from over there, some fresh ginger, and some Greek yogurt for protein. Okay, so while the tomato sauce is simmering, we are gonna work on the green smoothie. So I'm just gonna fill this up with some water. And speaking of water, she actually drinks one gallon of water a day, which I think is amazing. So as a housewarming gift, my parents just willingly gave me the Vitamix, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna get a Ninja Blender. I don't know how much water I should probably put in here. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna go in with half a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. There we go, one for you. One for me, one for the floor, okay. Entire Granny Smith apple, a couple of little knobs of fresh ginger, couple sprigs of parsley, and then some celery. I wonder how this is gonna taste. Usually a green smoothies taste like long, but this one actually seems kind of promising. I love apple and ginger together. Let's turn up the dial a little bit. Okay, looks about good. I would've added some other green stuff, but it got me demonetized, so. Ooh, hello, this one's actually pretty good. I feel like this is gonna be some sort of like an enema for me. Very pulpy. Oh, that ginger is hurting my soul. I put a lot of that in there. But apparently, celery juice in the morning fasted is very good for your skin. A lot of you guys have actually told me that. So I can make this a staple even though I don't absolutely love it. Okay, so the tomato sauce is done. So I didn't have a bunch of the spices required to make like a traditional shashuka because I just moved in. So all I put in was some salt, pepper, cumin, and chili powder with some uh, garlic, onions, and some red peppers. And then on the side, I'm gonna sprinkle on top a bunch of parsley and cilantro, but now it's time to add the egg. So I'm gonna make a couple wells here for the egg. And I'm just gonna give them a gentle stank and then put them in. One. There we go. So the eggs are in. Now you're supposed to cover it, but I don't have a lid for this pan. So the kitchen's all about improvising and being creative. So we just got this pan here. Okay, moment of truth. Drum roll, please. Oh yeah, that looks good. And there we go, this looks incredible. Why do I have the need to rub myself right now? I'm very excited for this. Let's plate this bad boy, so hopefully I don't get any yolk porn action before I get to penetrate it with my fork. Okay, there we go. Grab some of that ragu. Why have I not made this before? This is really healthy and it's up my alley. Okay, so there's plate one of two. On the side, got my green smoothie, and that's the pre-workout meal. This is quite the colorful and healthy looking meal. Speaking of that, 30 to 40% of her diet comes from cooked or raw veggies. The rest coming from lean sources of protein and complex carbs. So let's give this shachuka a little bit of a taste here. Oh, that yolk mixed in beautifully. Oh, that feta cheese just does it. Wow. Middle Eastern food has to be one of my favorites. The more I drink this, the more it tastes like a, a Jamba Juice practical joke. I really don't like it. But it's healthy, so I'm gonna force it down. So since we're eating something from her roots, let's talk a little bit about her. So at the age of 18, she surprisingly won Miss Israel. Well, not really surprisingly, she's gorgeous. And once you win something like that, you qualify for Miss Universe. But she wasn't into the pageants at all. So what she did was she intentionally bombed the pageant. She would show up late to the gala. She'd wear the wrong dresses. She would just do all the wrong things to not win because she didn't really want that attention. After the pageant queen day, she then went on to serve two years of mandatory service in the Israeli army. So quite the weird combination. So then after the service, 
she then went on to study to be a lawyer. So before kicking ass in Hollywood, she was trying to kick ass in the courtrooms. And other things that she likes to do in her spare time when she's not working is paddle boarding and horseback riding. And I absolutely love horseback riding, although without a saddle, I prefer it bareback. I love human. I can put human on anything. No, I'll just slam this gross thing. Oh man. You know what a lawnmower feels like? Ugh. Ugh. <sighs> Gotta swallow it all in one go like a real champ. So that was meal number one. Now time for workout number one. So the first thing we are gonna do is a five minute warm up on the roar, just a nice easy pace for five minutes and then hop right into the high intensity circuit that's five minutes long. So it's 10 seconds all out followed by 50 seconds recovery. Repeat that until five minutes is done and then we're gonna hop into the full body workout. Okay, so the five minute warm up is done. So now it's time to hop into the high intensity circuit. So 10 seconds all out. I have never done high intensity interval training that short. I mean, I have, but just not in a gym setting. So 10 seconds all out. 50 seconds rest, five times, so because it's so short, we should not make every second count. Here we go, round one. Fifty seconds recovery. Mm -hmm. Round two. It's not long, but it'll sure tie you out. Just one more round. All right, well that was a rowing. Certainly a lot harder than it sounds. Oh. Especially when it's 10 seconds, you have no excuse not to just go everything you got. So, I'm gonna wipe down the machine. Then we're gonna head to the studio. Okay, so time for the second portion of the workout. So this is like a circus style of training from Mark Twight. He actually trained Henry Cavill for Superman too, which is pretty cool. So I've never done anything like this before. So we're gonna be doing bear crawls, then into backwards bear crawls, then into burpee broad jumps, then into crab walks, then back to burpee broad jumps. So everything that we are doing right now is 30 meters, which equates to just about 100 feet. So that wall in the studio to this wall right here is 20 feet. So everything I do, I'm gonna do it five times to equate to just about 100 feet. And then for rest, she just walks 30 meters. So technically what she would have at her gym is she'll do 30 meters the whole way and then walk back and then start the next thing, but I don't have that. So just gonna walk there back five times. Then after we do that little circuit, we're gonna head back into the gym and do pull-ups, which I don't have a pull-up bar. So we're gonna do lat pull-down and then some ring push-ups or something to use the TRX. Starting off with the bear crawls first. Oh, this one really keeps your core engaged. This one is brutal on the shoulders. Wow, crazy burn. Ooh. All right, so the second last exercise we were doing is the crab walk. So this is apparently really good for your shoulder mobility. And a lot of CrossFit athletes say, if you wanna learn how to do a muscle up, this is a very good exercise to start doing. So my shoulder mobility sucks, so. I'm probably gonna be pretty bad at this one. Okay, so just gonna walk 30 more meters and we do some broad jumps. Okay, so we are on to the last portion of the workout. We're gonna be doing some lat pull down in replacement of the pull ups, and then some TRX push ups in replacement of the ring push ups. So she usually does seven sets of three for the pull ups, five sets of three for the push ups, which I think is great because if you're looking to get better at something, especially the pull ups, the push ups, overhead press is a good one. A lot of people always ask me, Will, how do you overhead press so much weight? The biggest thing that can contribute to that is more sets, less reps, focusing on that power and strength. So if you wanna build up your pull up strength, you wanna add more reps. If you can only do like 10 reps body weight, Add weight, more sets, less reps. By the time you come back to body weight, it will be so much easier. Okay, so now it's time to make some lunch. And lunch is by far her main meal of the day. It's the biggest meal. So we have tons of veggies here, lots of protein from the chicken and the chickpeas, because we're gonna be making some chickpea cakes, as she's been seen having some chickpea cakes, chicken breast, and a big leafy salad. All right, so the chicken breast is just finishing up. I have my salad all prepared. Now I'm gonna make the chickpea cake. So pretty much put the same vegetables as I put into the shakshuka this morning. So we got 
uh, cilantro, parsley, added some tarragon. I just love fresh herbs, uh, onions, red peppers, and some carrots. Now I'm just gonna add half or probably close to the whole can. Got the chickpeas in, probably looks about right. Then gonna add similar seasonings as a shakshuka this morning. Good salt, a little bit of pepper, some chili powder. And last but not least, my favorite spice, some cumin. There we go. Now I'm just gonna mash it up, form it into some patties, and we put it onto the, the pan, and that's it. Well, that certainly did not go as planned as you guys can see, so we're just gonna resort to plan B into the little old Vitamix. Beautiful. Well, we tried, guys. So these chickpea cakes didn't really turn into chickpea cakes. It's more like a chickpea scramble, but I'll eat anything referred to as a cake. Mmm. Very good and very fresh. I really like her diet. Very like fresh. A lot of like fresh herbs. I love fresh herbs. So Mark Twight, her trainer, said he wants her to maintain a 50-50 ratio of protein to vegetables at lunchtime, which I think is great. So we have tons of veggies from the salad and the chickpea uh, cakes and then tons of protein again from the chickpeas and the chicken. I also think it's great because saves room for donuts later on. So lunch is done, about to head to the gym again for another intense workout, but before we do, we're gonna head inside to grab one of our favorite snacks. And her favorite snack is some avocado toast. So even Wonder Woman herself is not immune to the most basic of meal choices. Also on the side have some coffee. So she likes her coffee with extra sugary syrup. Come on, that's a bad girl. I thought you were sweet enough. I do not know how people drink coffee with sugar and milk or cream, what the heck. Now I have never had avocado toast, at least a respectable one outside of my house. And I love avocado, it goes great on tortilla chips, pretty much anything, even your significant other. Exploding with flavor. Is that some sort of a challah bread situation going on? I like it. Tomato is a nice touch. Avocado toast is also expensive as hell, man. It should be its own currency. Okay, avocado toast done. Gonna try to force this down my throat. By the end of this, Gal Gadot is going from a, a 10 to a 7. Sorry. All right, so four down, one to go. That's what she said. I mean, at least from the shit that I watched. So this workout we're about to do is very quick and efficient, just like me, although I'm a lot more quick than efficient. Okay, so what we're about to be doing is a barbell complex. So it's a bunch of different exercises. We do not put the weight down at all during the set. So it's consists of Romanian deadlifts, bent over row, reverse curls, push press, and a squat. So the first two sets are kind of like warm-up sets of five reps. Then we gradually increase the weight and do four sets of five reps, 53% of our one rep max, and then four sets of three reps with 63% of our one rep max. So I haven't done reverse curls in a while. It's gonna be very interesting to see three reps with that. I don't know, but we're gonna give it a shot. Okay, so I started off with the 60 pound barbell. We went up to the 70s. Just gonna add 10 pounds each set. Okay, I'm gas. So we're on the last thing right now, four sets, three reps per exercise. Being limited to three reps is nothing new to me. But I tell you what, this is some sick cardio. Like I am, I'm pretty gas right now. So I would try this out if you can.
So that's gonna do it. So now all we have left to do is a five minute cool down with the medicine ball. I really did enjoy that circuit. I think my only critique about that thing would be, I was very surprised to see the reverse curls because it really limits the amount of weight that you can use for the other exercises. So gonna probably do some medicine ball slams for five minutes, very, very light. Just cool down a bit and that's the workout. Workout done in and out in 30 minutes, just the same amount of time it takes me to demolish a buffet. So just goes to show, you don't need a lot of time for a good workout. Okay, so Gala is to prioritize veggies for dinner with a hand-sized portion of meat. So luckily I have a bunch of meals prepared for me with tons of veggies and good quality protein. So what am I gonna choose? So I've already had chicken today, so I'm gonna toss these ones to the side. Now we got a lot of seafood here. She loves her seafood, by the way. Hmm, you know what? I think this shrimp is gonna look good. Let's just make sure that it's a hand-sized portion. Yeah, that looks about hand-sized portion. So a nice honey spice shrimp with garlic mushroom rice. Pretty bougie. So I have yet to use this microwave and I have no idea how to operate it. So this thing is probably worth more than anything I've ever made in my life. So, oh wait, open. That would... What? Okay, hello. Toss the meals in. Come on, that's pretty sick. On my sixth of the day, so I'm overachieving. Why, how many does she have? She has five a day. That's She's nice. a gallon a day. All right, so let's get into this meal here. I love me some rice. It's just a beautiful canvas for anything, you know? Bon appetito. Bon appetit. Bon appetito. Bon appetito. You Italian? Mmm. That is good. What is that? This is some garlic mushroom rice with some seaweed salad. You want to try some seaweed salad? Try some seaweed salad. I've never actually seen seaweed salad. Mm. Doesn't it taste good? Don't just take a strand. Come on. Got a little sea sam action going. Sea sam? Yeah. What's that? Sesame. <laughs> okay, I'm going in with the shrimp. Okay. Sweet and spicy. Just like me. You get a hint of that honey and damn. Kind of sneaks up on you a little bit. I'll tell you what. Those workouts today were extremely difficult. I did two workouts today. What'd you do? I did kind of like a body weight one with a rowing, and then I did like a barbell complex circuit. That's I was complex. dead after a bunch of stuff all at once, like no rest. I was dead after. I wanted to take a nap, but the nap didn't want to take me. I was just like tossing in my like my bed and stuff. It was brutal. I'm I'm, I'm zonked. So she goes harder than you at the gym. Oh yeah, she's so short and sweet. She's not short. No, I mean like her workouts are short and sweet. You know, huh. she just gets in and gets out. How's your meal? Did you meal good? Finger looking good? Finger looking good. Katie got roasted in the birthday cheat day for looking at her fingers. Slash I get roasted for always looking at my fingers. People get roasted for everything. You just can't waste any of it. Yeah, never leave a drop. I like how she did the big meal in the middle of the day. So I'm usually one to have a lot of my calories later on, like a calorie hoarder. But it gives me that kind of like binge mentality. Whereas when I had that big meal in the middle of the day, my hunger was like sustained all day long. I actually felt really good. So it's not always about saving calories to the end of the day. I actually felt really good. Might start doing that. It's so sad. It's like 10 o'clock at night and you're watching TV and you just like open up your like my fitness pal and it's just like, you have 20 calories left. Mine says negative sometimes. You live, live your life, baby. These mushrooms are good. Magic mushrooms, you think? I think not. I win. So that was dinner. And all we have left is dessert. You want some dessert? Of course she does. Like my girlfriend, Gal Gadot recognizes that size isn't everything. So we've had a lot of clean foods today, but that doesn't mean unhealthy foods is off limits. She loves cheeseburgers, she loves ice cream, and she loves chocolate. Uh, so nothing is off limits, just as long as it's in the proper measurements and portion size. So we are gonna be having two of our favorites, which is ice cream and chocolate. And little did I know that a pint of ice cream is not one serving size. So me and Katie are actually gonna split this one pint, as well as split this chocolate coconut bar. So we have the cookies and cream Cool Way, and Cool Way is by far the best low calorie ice cream that you can get. Oh, okay, okay, so. that, that's your <laughs> yeah, This is just a sign. You wanna just take one for the team? This is not really the best showing for Cool Way, let me tell you that, but it is fantastic, Jesus. Oh, whew, three workouts today, god damn. Okay, there we go. One hockey puck each. Now we're gonna 
split the chocolate bar. Okay, chocolate coconut. So I love coconut, but I just find coconut to like not really want to share the spotlight with any other ingredients. Oh my God, come on now. There we go. Half a chocolate bar there, half a chocolate bar there. And that is the nightcap. Look at the spoon that she gives me. This is how she slows me down a little bit. You little bugger, you asked for that. I did actually ask for that. <laughs> Tastes it came straight out of the Oreo packet. Now for the chocolate coconut. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A very nice balance of coconut and chocolate. Good job. Thank you. I will say, I would like the whole bar. I mean, half a pint of ice cream and half a chocolate bar is against what I'm used to, that's for sure. But I guess it just makes you savor it and makes you want to just enjoy it a little bit more, you know? I guess that's the point of food. I don't know if I'll quite grasp that one day. Oh my God. I'm just gonna lick my fingers off camera. Do you think you're looking good? Oh yeah, baby. That is very good. So I'll put the total calories of the day on the screen somewhere right now. Really good day of eating. Very, very good workout. Way different than what I'm used to. Really enjoyed it. So that's gonna wrap up this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.